Hello everybody. Hope you had a very Merry Christmas. Before we start the video, I need to let you know how badly this video goes, okay? We have multiple crashes, multiple failures. I have to resort to one at one point, unfortunately, of bending the rules because Ark was treating me so, so unfairly. It's going to be a little bit more segmented, a little bit more broken up than as usual because of, well, you'll see in a minute. Enjoy the video, guys. Thanks for watching. I've been waiting a thousand years for the Phoenix to rise. And yet, we still can't find it. We did everything. We searched everywhere. Uh, Dave, you need to wait for a superheat. Motherfu- Hello everybody, right guys, let's get this on the go, let's get this on the go. Right, how is everybody? I hope everybody's had an amazing Christmas. Today is the day you've all been waiting for. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. Today, we are hopefully gonna tame a phoenix. Now, I've been waiting for absolutely ages. I've got everything ready. We should hopefully, this should hopefully not, yes, we're not burning. Great news, great news. Uh, we've got everything there. Perfect, right, let's go. We've got our fire wyvern. We've got everything that we need. And what we need to do today is find, all we need to do is find where the ashes fall. And once we find where the ashes fall, we can do the rest of it. Now, most people would use the fire wyvern in mid-air. I don't think that's going to be the best way of doing things today. They only spawn in the center area. So they only spawn not in the desert on the outside of the scorched earth. They only spawn in the center area. So there shouldn't be too many, too many issues. What are you doing on top here? You are you chilling? You having a good time? Have some of this. Wah -ha -ha. I am looking absolutely everywhere for it. Now you guys asked me to tame a phoenix, and you know what? Screw it. Let's get a phoenix tame, shall we? Oh my god! Look at the heat wave. It's so crazy. Look how like muddly it looks. I wonder if there's a way of turning that effect off. Rest now, anyway. We've got to rest. We're out of stamina, 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 stamina. No, they never fly low. They always fly. Hello. I thought you are not supposed to fly low. But you look like you are flying low. Now you're flying high? Maybe they only spawn when I get in range. Oh my god, 15 silica pearls. Is that what they drop? Oh my god. So, for everyone out of curiosity, I need to explain something. So, I basically, every time there's a new event, do kill all wild dinos. And I went, I did basically a whole video where I searched for this phoenix, right? Over in that direction over there. I basically covered the whole, like, that top half of the map, the north side, not finding it anywhere. And I was like, but this, I saw it here. I remember seeing it. It was really easy to spot. And I was like, but I killed all wild dinos. And I totally forgot the phoenix, of course, would count. Right, here we go, here we go, here we go. It's getting colder, I think. As soon as the superheat goes, we need to see where it stops. Here we go. Okay, it's stopping. Right, go to the ground, go to the ground. Ah, uh, here. Okay, this is where I think it was. This is where I think it was. Okay. Um, okay, right, let me just quickly drop that. So this is where we think it was. Okay, right, give me foundation, give me foundation. All right, that's our marker, or it's hopefully our marker. Right, we'll wait till daytime. All right, because I didn't see exactly where it landed, I am going to have to make a much, much bigger platform than is usual. Uh, normally, you can make it really small to do this sort of thing. Most people would just chase it with a fire wyvern, but not me. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to do this. We're going to do it right. Um, right, let's shove the silica pearls in here now. Why not? 
Right, are we a little bit quicker now at least? Okay, we know where this is, right? Okay, it is literally... Wait, wait, wait where is it on the map? Where is it on the map? Where is it on the map? 50, 60, 60, 50, 60, 50. That's where we're at. There we go. My cam's a lot better now. Nice. I had to change it because I accidentally deleted it when I did the video with Daz. Right then, let's get ourselves back. What's going on? There's like stuff like popping in and out like behind me. I'm not sure what's going on. Go and get more stone foundations. I wasn't planning on needing more stone foundations, by the way, guys. Um, it just so happens that apparently, uh, apparently I am going to need them. So we've got two Mastercraft um, uh, flamethrowers and we've got a normal flamethrower. Hopefully, that should be everything that I need. Um, but, I've also got a flame wyvern as well. So we should be all good to go. I have no idea what level it is. Um, we should probably check that next time there's a thing that comes. Uh, that's not what I need. Uh, I think that, actually, no, the weight in the lightning wyvern will be fine. So we'll take the lightning wyvern, we'll come back and we'll get the, the fire dragon. Because there's no way we're going to get another one in the next day cycle, is there? Come on, we're not going to get another another day cycle's worth of uh, worth of stuff done straight away, are we? Come on. So we'll put this one down here. We're going to need build a build a boy as well so let's grab the build boy boy tapas where you at tapas you where are you chilling these days i wasn't gonna get I, I was pretty sure to be honest that i wasn't gonna be able to get the exact drop location of the phoenix which is why we're using all of the stone stuff we collected from raptor claws to build this trap baby build this trap anyway i hope everybody's had a very merry christmas is everybody doing okay is everybody doing good you guys smashed the likes in the last video, guys. If you remember, I said that if we get over 1,300 likes in the video, normally I mean in the first sort of 48 hours, which I did, and it happened, then I would do a PvP episode to see how I enjoyed it and see what happened. Well, you got your wish. We are going to be doing a PvP episode because we got over 1,300 likes on the video. So I should probably tell you, if we get over 1,100 likes on this video on Taming the Phoenix, what will we be doing? Well, that's very simple. If we do that, then next episode of Scorched Earth, we'll be taming a rock golem. So if you want to see me tame a rock golem, and I think I've got a pretty unique way of how to do it as well, then you guys have got it. That's what's going to happen. Okay, so that's what we get Ugh, there. Now, Rock Golem is mostly used for PvP, but you guys want to see me do it, so I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and I'm not gonna sit here and say to you that we're not gonna do it. Okay. There we go. Oh damn it, I just wasted some materials. It's not the biggest of deals, because I have still got the Christmas event going down. Oh. Oh, we do have some left still. This is gonna be enough, right? I'm fairly certain I'm directly underneath. The thing is, if we get it wrong and I build, and if I don't build it right the first time, then and it spawns outside of the area, then we're going to be in big, big boy problems. But it's better to be safe than sorry, isn't it? Look at that. That is going to be too big. But oh well. I've got, I've got like hundreds of stone foundations from not stone pillars. I reckon that will be a much better way of doing it i've got i've got literally like 200 of the things so let's put the stone stuff into oh, i forgot i got that ascendant mantis saddle we should go for that on lucas like straight away um let's let's have a think let's have a think stone pillars is probably going to be the better go to i've got like 200 and something of them i then how many high i think it has to be a minimum of like 10 like in that case i would probably been better off not building that, those stone foundations the way I did, and I should just just get rid of the middle ones and just have the outside ones. I can recoup some, I can recruit re recoup some materials back that way. But I've, again, I can still chase after raptors to get more stone foundations. Okay, that's probably the best way. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I've got it. This is what we're gonna do, guys. So I don't particularly want to bore you guys or or anything, but um, I've actually decided rather than showing you, well, not rather than showing you, I'm showing you at a very sped up pace me building things because I was actually working it out as I go. Nooblets probably has the best tutorial online. You should check it out if you haven't already. I'll pop a link for it in the video description down below. 
I had some major, and I mean major, problems building this trap slash thing. I went with my own design, then a custom design that was sort of more in keeping to traditional designs, and then I finally went to Nublet's design with my own twist, and you'll see how all of this ended up by the end of the video, but um, yeah, I'm going to speed through a lot of this stuff so you can actually see me building it and not see me, well, you can see me talking, but I don't want to uh, bore you with what I was saying because I was kind of just rambling at this point, so let's... Let's skip ahead to where things go entirely wrong in the only way that Ark can possibly go wrong, and that's by crashing. It's about to happen, it's about to happen, it's about to happen, it's about to happen. Yes! Yes. Hello. And you're stuck in here too. I've got a present for you, and it's my flamethrower. Ooh, 72, nice. Let's go. Unfortunately, it was at this moment that my computer had decided to uh, crash. There was actually 20 minutes left on this section um, because my computer splits everything into 20 minute parts, but the entire file had completely gone and completely corrupted. So this is all I've got to show you is this lovely blank screen. When I loaded back into the game, we had the issue of everything, well, almost everything was still there in terms of the trap, but the Phoenix is entirely despawned. This made me a little bit angry and I think it's a little little bit unfair so I deemed that it would probably be okay if I just spawned the same level worth of phoenix inside the trap so I spawned the level phoenix in and I recommenced uh, the super heat as well because I thought it was a, a, a tad unfair that the game had decided to crash then probably because of the amount of flame physics that was happening at once um, safe to say I toned down the uh, recording quality and toned down the recording I uh, toned down the uh, the textures and stuff so that hopefully we don't have the same problem again and you join me with me trying to flame the phoenix 8% um, okay that's not ideal at all It's ended. I saw that. You saw that. So at this point, as you can imagine, I'm a tad annoyed. I've had one crash so far, which has set me back by quite a way. And now I realize that I wasn't sufficient enough to be able to tame it with just what I had. So it was time to employ a cross between Nublets and my own design. It goes wrong. The phoenix is in this corner, on top of, right, okay, we're going to have to build a cage on top of this cage, which one is it on, okay, stop, okay, it's right there, so, if I build a modified version of Nublet's trap, there that would probably work got an idea I've got an idea oh yes mm. oh, vanilla white hot chocolate right <sighs> stone stuff Okay, so here's the plan, okay? We've got uh, made about 12 or 13 oil jars, which I'm pretty sure is enough, okay? This little stack here, we've got the wyvern up here in case the fire doesn't work out. I've gone to get the rest of the ammo for the flamethrower, so I've got like 13 more ammo flamethrower, which is great. And then we've got this little section down here. When the phoenix spawns in this area, I don't know exactly if it's going to spawn in that one or the next one, whatever. It doesn't matter. We've got a 4x4 four four cage. We're going to drop down. Okay, drop down here. Alright. As soon as it goes to the top, we're going to place the however many it is um, underneath where it goes. So then that means it's trapped in, in that area. Place the oil jar in the center-ish and then light it up. 
while that's going on, I will flamethrower it with the wyvern. And once the wyvern runs out of stamina, we'll shove the uh, we'll shove the flamethrower that I've got on it as well. Hopefully, that means it's all going to go well. But this is the sort of modification I made. And I think it's gonna work. I'm very much looking forward to it. Now we just have to, we have to wait for the opportune moment, don't we? Yeah. So this will be the last time lapse, I promise, guys. Not because I couldn't do any more time lapses. I know you guys like to see as much as I physically can show you. Uh, but I was running out of hard drive space, and so I realized that actually after this one, I was kind of screwed. Roughly for every five minutes recorded, it takes about 10 to 12 gigabytes worth of room. And I just simply don't have the room left in my recording drive. I will get a bigger hard drive that's just as fast as this one that allows me to record 1440 at 60 FPS. But I had either two choices, either drop the quality of the video or drop the time lapses. So I decided to drop the time lapses any second now oh he's spawning down there okay that i wasn't expecting but we can we can sort of sort this out hang on we can sort this out we can sort this out okay perfect i think he's actually trapped down there which would be very ideal uh okay right well that's that bit taken care of in the worst case scenario let's get up here grab you grab you there we go it looks like he's trapped on the bottom that would be very useful. Completely accidental, but very useful nonetheless. And then flamethrower. Should light it on fire. Come on. There we go. Oh, there we go, baby. That's how we do. That's how we do. This is how we take it. And we have had another crash. Now, this shouldn't have happened. I was lo using lower textures. Problem. The problem was my graphics card was drawing too much power from my five-year-old power supply. And once again, as it turns out, for the second video in a row on Arc, my power supply seems to have been an issue. So it spiked and caused my computer to shut down fully. So I have now underclocked my GPU so that it shouldn't draw quite as much power. It's been power limited. And we jumped right back into the fray. Got him. Right then, you come with me. Never ever thought I'd find one of these useful, but here we are, and we're going to find it useful. Okay, okay. Take some of you, take some of you, and where is my... Oh God, where is it? Um, okay, we'll take a bucket. Why not? We haven't seen bucket this episode. How's it going, bucket? Here we go. I'm just going to make sure we, there we go, going down straight away. Nice. Perfect. So, why, may you ask, have I got myself one of these? Well, the reason is this. Bam. Hello. This will show up the phoenix and where it's at. So, uh, let me through. Oh, can you do that? Oh, hang on. Ugh. This is basically taking me all day. But it's worth it. Because this time, for sure, we're going to tame ourselves a phoenix. What I have done is kind of copy Nooblet's design. Go and check out his video on the Phoenix. It's amazing. And we now know that the Phoenix is here. Yep. So that's where the Phoenix is going to spawn. All right. And then what's going to happen is he's going to hopefully float to the top of this bad boy here. When that happens, underneath him, I'm going to place a, uh, a ceiling and then do the old jars. Bang on. Light the jars. Great news. We use the last of my flamethrower and then if that runs out, we've got this platform with my fire wyvern. And Emma Stone is waiting. And this will blast fire straight into there. And keep going and so forth and so forth. If it escapes out of this section, 
we're going to be in a wee little bit of trouble because I have um, demolished this side of things to get some more stone stuff. I've demolished some stone foundations. I've demolished some stuff over here. Alright, all of this stuff here so that we can make enough stone stuff to be able to make this. Over there, we've got ourselves some beds. Those beds are going to allow us, if we die, to get back here as soon as possible. And finally, if for whatever reason we do need more stone stuff, we have got the remainder of our stuff in this little box. So, hopefully for the final time, let us wait out onto the breach. Oh yes. Oh. Oh my god. Alright then. Looks like it's time. Right, let's do this. We stuck at the bottom, but we know you can escape. Right, up he goes, up he goes. Perfect. Let's grab our stuff, grab our stuff. Put that down here. Uh, let's wear these gloves, because it's going to be hot. Perfect. Okay. Nice. Okay, all jars. Oh god, I can't see a thing. Okay, we're good. We're good. Come on, come on. Okay, okay. Step back. All right, there we go. Go on. Oh, we're hot. Very hot. You step back. You step back. All right, let's go, 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 go. Up here, up here, up here. Let's go, 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 go. Okay. Phoenix. Nice. Come on. Tame. Tame. Well, New Blitz was right. It's definitely the best way to do it. Okay, here we go. There we go. Hello. Okay. Oh, what's going on down there? Okay, raptors. We're not messing around with raptors yet. Hold down space and... I mean... Oh, did I just set that? Oh yeah, that sets everything. Okay. Hmm. So how do we... How do we land? Or do we not land? Blaze targeting? What does blaze targeting mean? I'm not sure what that means, but... Wow. We have got a phoenix and see what this bad boy can do, shall we? Let's go find it. Let's go and put some stuff away. Let's go and put some stuff away first. Let's go over here to Emma Stone. Phoenix over here. Hello, Phoenix. You look incredible. Right, let's go. Okay, there we go. So, does it destroy stuff? I thought it destroyed... Okay, it doesn't destroy rocks. I thought it did. Okay, let's have a... And go. Okay, does it destroy trees? No. Does set stuff on fire, though. Once tamed, a phoenix will eat only sulfur and cannot land. It must be mounted or dismounted in the air. Oh, um, okay. Right, where is... Um, where is... There's the green thing. Okay, we need to go. We've got half food already. And I, I have got lots of sulfur because last... Not the last episode, the episode before... We went down the Wyvern Trench, so I've got loads and loads of sulfur, but none on me. So we need to get back there soon. This is a fast tame. I don't know if it's as fast as the Wyvern. It's probably just about as fast, which is good. But it's small. I like the fact that it's small. Into stamina with you. Oh, it does. It does. It cooks It cooks raw meat. That's pretty sick, actually. Somebody mentioned to me that it cooked raw meat. 
Alright, let's, uh, do you guys attack phoenixes? It doesn't look like you do. Okay, let's just go over here real quick. Alright, stop. 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 Silica pearl's the best thing ever! So we're gonna need silica pearls. Right, let's get that sulfur. I'm pretty sure I've got it. In a wyvern. Oh, raptor. Let's go. Oh my god, look at that hunger. Look at that hunger. Oh my god. Go, 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 go. I know where it is. I know where it is. I know where it is. Go, 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 go. The hunger, the hunger, the hunger, the hunger. Oh my god, the hunger. Okay, stop moving. Stop moving. Right. Oh. Food, food, food. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Berries. I'm going to put it in berries. Sulfur. Yes. Hello, Phoenix. Hi. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, that was close. <laughs> Oh my god. And it does, it cooks meat in its inventory. Oh my god, that's brilliant. Wow. Okay, and you pooped again? Do you just poop again? Oh, look at all of those. Mm. Silica pearls. Oh, how's your food doing? Your food's all the way back up again. Brilliant, Mr. Phoenix. Brilliant. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff we can do with our Phoenix. And there's some really cool ways you can generate silica pearls with it as well. So, that's kind of cool. That's kind of awesome. So, we have got ourselves a phoenix. If you'd stop being weird, phoenix. Not the best, but it is, guys. Once again, guess who gets to name the phoenix? That would be you guys. So, ignore the premiere that's going on over there. If you go into the comment section below, and you guys can now name yourself this phoenix. There is only one exception. You can't call it Forks. <laughs> you can't call it Forks. Oh, yes. Oh, poops. You can't call it Forks. It's too obvious. It's too obvious. You're going to have to think of something else, guys. You're going to have to think of something else. So whatever the most thumbed up comment is, other than Forks, obviously, then you guys get to name this. This has been a grueling video, guys. I'm so glad that you guys came to enjoy it with us. Thank you to Chris and Logan, my 25 tier Patreon subscribers. And don't forget, guys, smashing like on the video will mean that I will, if I get over 1,100 likes on this video, I will tame a rock golem. So, from me and this phoenix, we'll see you guys next time. Oh, I've got to, oh God, I've got to go and collect. Oh, got to go and collect the other wyvern. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry.